Good boy. Oh god, life as a dog mom. You got dog hair all over your mic. This is what it's come to. Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching another episode of Stranger Things. I am so excited to watch this next episode, you have no idea. I am itching to watch this next one because we just left on so many things, so many new things happening. So exciting. Let's just go right into it. Literally nothing else to say, I just want to dive right in. Vander, over here. Can you sit? Good boy, down. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. And if you guys haven't checked out my two new channels, I have a vlog channel and a gaming channel out right now. Make sure you guys go do that. I'm trying to get those two monetized. So if you watch the content on there, it would be greatly appreciated. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Ugh, oh, the shots are just so good in Stranger Things. Oh, that flare off the car light. Yo, he's probably traumatized. Oh god, I don't need to see that. Oh no. Where was Eddie when that happened? It it was not Eddie. Eddie was freaking in another boat. There was literally no way it could be him. You're not listening to me. Eddie, he's Eddie is a vessel. He's literally just a dude. How do you expect to stop the devil if you don't believe he's real? Oh my god. Did they specifically shoot that with a light coming from the window so they can get this transition shot? They probably did, right? They 100% did. Why are we going underwater? I didn't sign up for deep sea diving lessons, alright? I don't care for this. I just finished filming- Oh, Nemo! It was a lot more horrifying than Nemo. Processing? What just came out from under the water? I didn't even think about that. Was it underwater or was it in the, like, the other side? No, we didn't flip. And there was no dust particles. That's not fun. I have the chills. I'm cold. I'm gonna throw on this sweater really quick. The dive! Oh my god, we literally are going underwater. What? <gasps> Who are you? Why are you- Oh my god, are you getting tortured? Oh god! I can't miss anything. Oh god, the headphones are so much thicker than I thought they were. Should have taken them off. It would have been more convenient while putting this on. I can make a start. I can make the pain end. You can also just not inflict pain to begin with. Dr. Brenda's special little pet has gone rogue again. How do you guys actually think that Eleven is doing this? Why would she need their eyeballs for? I mean, there are a lot of crazy people out there, so don't get me wrong. But also, what would she do with the eyeballs? The lights in the back, like, don't know why they're there. Are those, like, heating lamps? Actually, they those are heating lamps. For, like, food and stuff. But they're just shining it on him. Oh, well, I guess behind him. No. But also makes for really great lighting. God, all right, not on him in a freaking hot locker with open wounds. Ugh. your abilities are still in here. Okay, I believe you. Yo, him poking her face and then the pin number thing. It's so good. They're subtle, the transitions, but they're there. Like he had to have been directed to poke her face, you know? If this all happened, why don't I remember? You're traumatized. From trauma. Yep. You have demons in your past. What kind of demons? Like Vecna level demons? If we go too fast, I'm afraid you could become lost in the darkness. Papa, why are you kind of being nice right now? I don't like it. Can you just let me hate you? That's why it's called the dive. We're literally diving into our memories. And there's a monster in the lake that we need to probably dive for to kill. I like it. It's like metaphorical and literal. Well, it's literal here, but metaphorical for us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Eddie, you're alive, bro! I just can't 
stand to see those dull eyes of Eddie's break again. I really, really can't. Except he's not there anymore. Eddie's literally gone. We do not know where he is, so good luck trying to find him. Everybody. Reporting a homicide out here on the lake. We made our way to the shore of Lover's Lake. <gasps> it's called Lover's Lake? That's so cute. We found the victim, an 18 year old senior. Why is it always kids? Why are only kids dying? I mean, where is the FBI? They're on it, but in a different way. I can make the pain in. Bro, what are the chances that Eddie is next to two of the victims? Like, come on. Skull Rock. Uh, do you know it? Hold tight. We're coming. We're coming. Poor Eddie. You probably desperately need a shower, too. Hiding can be rough. Oh my god. I almost totally forgot about Argyle and the gang. Can't feel my butt. You guys feel your butts? I can feel my butt. More butt jokes. We're really on theme today with commentaries. For what I'm filming, at least. Is Susie here? <laughs> oh, God. You have kind of amazing aim, mini Susie. Hi, we're looking for Susie. Oh my God, how many siblings does she have? That is not a toy. Oh my God, someone our age, please. She's like, you're not my sibling. Argyle. You are. Eden. That's a really pretty name. I will shove her for you. I will do anything for you. Oh God, he's really schmitten. No, listen, we're Dustin's friend. Yeah, we really need your help. She's like, this is just getting too far, man. I changed his grades for him, and now his friends are showing up in my freaking house? She's like, I'm gonna have a strict talk with my BF later. I underestimated. I thought you were dead. <sighs> the fact that you two aren't dead is pretty surprising to me. Yuri will help you for the right price. We gave you 40,000 freaking dollars. No. Half the reward. 20,000. 30,000. 22. 25. We got ourselves a moron! Oh god, Murray. Joyce is like, I have no idea what you're doing, man. I saw tracks. Tracks. In the woods, Yuri. Bears. Bears. <laughs> Winona Ryder, oh my gosh, she's amazing. Did you get for trying to swindle us out of your the freaking money and getting Hopper freaking back into the camp? You suck, bro. <laughs> Hey, my bad, yo. Oh, shoot, yo. He's got some determination in his eyes if I've ever seen it. Is this some kind of sick joke? Am I dreaming, American? There's something. There's a catch. First I am. I'm very huh? He doesn't trust it. Like you, losers. I am my Carlos. <laughs> you all need to do. And I'm not your friend? Yes. After three. Enzo, I'm gonna go over there and punch you in the face. You take that back. He is not weak. Have you seen him in the first three seasons? Okay, season three, he was a little bit shocked. No, but his mental game, bro? His intimidation game, bro? Unmatched. Yeah, that's funny. As if you think you can fight it. It's about nine feet tall. God. Thin, white skin. No face. Bro, he's like, how do you know? You can't beat it, bro. You're all wrong. It needs the thrill of the hunt. We're not here to train. It's already trained, bro. We're here to entertain it. We're literally nothing compared to it. This is your last meal. It's okay, light it on fire. Like how they did in season one, even though it didn't even kill it. It just sent it back, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Which number are you aiming for? Confirmed, this is Jamie Campbell Bauer. He's killing the accent, man. One, Papa said that he doesn't exist, I know. Sometimes, Papa doesn't tell the truth. Nah, I knew that. Something had changed. It changed? He said he had figured it out. Figured what out? Life? He had found his strength in a memory from his past. Something Ooh, that made yeah, him sad, emotions drive. also angry. Do you maybe have a memory like that? Yeah, of course I do. I have like a million like that. From season one until now. Mama is dead. She died making me. And who told you that? Papa. Yeah, but sometimes Papa doesn't tell the truth. Wait, is she actually alive? What happened season two? Oh my God, I need a refresher. We should have just told her the truth. 
told her the truth that what? What's the truth? Oh, that she's a murderer? I guess she has to figure that out on her own, right? That she's capable of such things? It's my guess, at least. I don't know. You okay? It's like, why him? But then I remember this one day, he came to practice with a black eye. Everyone Vecna targets something in their life. That's Hurting them. Oh, my heart. Yeah, literally the people that least deserve to die. And I'm sorry, I wasn't there. It's not your fault. No. I disappeared. You did disappear. But also, you did try a little bit, Lucas. You did try. But you also were distracted by the popular crowd as well. But Lucas, I love that growth. Look at him learning. That's very mature for a young lad like you. It would be the rekindling of some old flames that frankly never should have been snuffed out. Uh, would that be so terrible for me to wish happiness for my friends? Ma'am, I have a boyfriend. Jonathan and I are fine. Got it. We're good. Are right? you guys? Nancy, you seem to have a track record of kind of falling out of love with these boys. And now I can't find out why, because apparently he's blown up his family's house phone or something. The thing is, she doesn't even know that Jonathan's going through the thick of it right now, too. On their side, bro, it's so bad. How long have you known that Eddie Munson was killing these kids? We don't even know for sure that it's him, bro. Ugh, people are literally like this, though. No! Oh. You won't! He's like, you won't because he's a literal devil. <laughs> That's enough. I agree, I've had enough. But the thing is, this poor boy truly believes that he's right. I mean, he's not, he's partially there. It is the work of a monster, demon-like. Has literally nothing to do with Eddie. Eddie just, poor dude was in the wrong place the wrong time. They call themselves Hellfire. That's bullshit. Hellfire isn't a cult, it's a club for nerds. Yes, Erica, get at him with that sass. Defend your ass. The Wheelers, Hendersons, please do not believe that this is what you think your kids are up to. They're literally just nerds. They just like playing games. Then I remembered Romans 12, 21. You were partying the other night. Don't tell me you all of a sudden, within 24, not even, probably 12 hours, have become this Bible, Christian, do-good, Boy. To join me in this fight. What fight? Let us cast out this evil and save How are you Marcus gonna do that? Together. Literally tell me how you're gonna do that. You heard the kid? You're not telling me the Romans 12 thing worked. Now all these freaking people are just gonna be looking for innocent kids and doing God knows what with them. Like you're trying to beat them up? After changing Dusty's grade, I was racked with the most awful guilt. Oh no, she's an actual like do we do good christian girl and now she doesn't want to do any more hacking after learning the terrible truth he took away her he computer? confiscated my computer we're going to have to get it back where is it his study and father's always working and his door is like permanently locked unless unless and i mean a lot of help it's do you know us we've done things these last Three years, four years, three years. Wait, I love how all the parents now are gonna have to try to protect their kids, but they have no idea where they are, right? God, they're probably so scared for their kids' safety. 927, same time our flashlights went kablooey. That surge of energy was Vecna attacking Patrick. That makes sense, since there's, since there's no more Demogorgons on this side of Hawkins, at least, I think. You need to Knock sneak into wood. his lair in the upside down and drive a stake through his heart. A stake, is he like a vamp? Is he a vampire? It was a metaphor. <laughs> Dude, that was literally what I was gonna say. I literally was gonna go, vampire? Does he sparkle too in the light? I hope so. Vecna seems like the type of guy that would. Boom! What? He figured it out? This compass worked correctly when we left the wheelers, but it started to slip the further east we went. Lucas, do you remember what can affect a compass? An electromagnetic field. <gasps> oh, we learned this in season two, I think, with from Bob. There's another gate. A gate that we don't know about because Thrown then we'd away. have a way to Vecna and a shot at freeing Max from this curse. I'm totally straight with you. I think it's a really bad idea. Do you have any options though? The Shire is burning. No idea what you're talking about, bro. I recently found out that Joe Curie is 30 years old and he is one of the best 30 year old actors that plays 
a college student I've ever met in my life. Met? Seen in my life. I have not met Joe Keery. Do not crack your toe beans at me. Ow. Two, that was a little harsh. Oh, no one's beating two right now? I don't even think Eleven's gonna beat him, do you think? I have no idea. Yo, I love how they're like doing it as a like a stop motion-esque. Bro, two, you're not tired yet or nothing? Why isn't his nose bleeding? Thank you, Jamie Campbell Bauer. God, bro. Oh, there goes the nosebleed. Oh, a worthy opponent, I see. Two had a little bit of an upper hand. Will she make a comeback? Oh my god, are you okay, Two? Is your head all right? It looks like we have a new winner. Yay, one free extra hour at the Rainbow Room to try to get three. Yo, music? Literally never disappoints with Stranger Things. Let's see what miracles it holds, yes? Peanut butter and Hopper for about 15 minutes. Ah, the box of jeans is still open. I like the continuity. Keys. Map. Let's go. <laughs> Murray is the most intimidating weirdo I've ever met in my life. From here on out, you're gonna be Murray. I'm gonna be Yuri. Let's go. You're telling me that they've never seen Yuri before? That can't be right. He delivers cigarettes. I cannot leave this world with him believing his father is a traitor. I will get back to him. Is he slow? Your son, is he, is he slow? Is he stupid? He top of his class. No chats. <laughs> you're not his father. Hopper, you're kind of going ham on him. I like it. I like these comebacks. You want my job, Hopper? Because I'm mouth shut! And your wife! <laughs> Ow? Ooh. What were you going to say about his wife? Do we even know that he has a wife? That's better than getting eaten by a monster from the other side. So I figure if we want a shot at killing this thing, we need some fuel and we need something to light it with. He's so freaking good. I don't know if you'll actually kill it, but at least you'll maybe send it to the back to the other side. And he saved your skin while doing it, Enzo. You're welcome. Wait, where's Argyle? Shit, I, I don't know. Flirting with Eden, probably. Or just staring at her. Either one. <laughs> away, you moody rogue! Away! Is this the lot of help that's happening right now? Office. Try office. Bro. I really hope they use an actual old computer and they try to get it up and running. Ah! Oh my god, who set fire to the house? Nevada? Bro, that was so fast too. Dang, so they have to go to freaking Nevada now? Slow down! Hey, don't worry, we stretched first. Dustin's right, you're a certified genius. Is she officially cooler than Eleven? I think we just spooked a skunk. God, you wish it was a skunk, bro. Stay calm. A bunch of angry armed vigilantes are out hunting kids. But what's new, honestly? Like, do we expect anything less from the citizens of Hawkins to make situations worse? Like, no. This makes sense to me. I wonder if we're gonna see another victim this time around. I wonder if there's gonna be any adult victims too? Like they're all, they've all been kids so far. How long y'all been running for? It is completely nightfall. You gotta shit me. Yeah. The gate is in the lake? Where people are searching for Eddie. Keep an eye out for trouble. You keep an eye out. It's my goddamn theory. You heard Nance. Who put her in charge? I did. Yeah, we're friends now, Dustin. Bedtime at nine, kiddos. Dustin, you're the new designated babysitter, I guess. I like it. Not Jamie Campbell Bauer. Was it because he was revealing too much information to Eleven? I'm so confused. Is he number one? I have so many theories. You shouldn't be wandering the halls. Hey, you guys don't have an hour of free time in the rainbow room. I won fair and square. You are weak. I'm clearly stronger than you. <laughs> 
a room full of powerful kids alone, unsupervised. Oh, jeez. Yo, Eleven got bullied even in here? Dude, everywhere she turns, she gets treated like poop. You know, for a rainbow room, there's a lot of red blocks in here. Why can't there be rainbow blocks? Oh, is this when you murdered them? You attacked back? I know what happened now. I killed them, didn't I, Papa? Did she get her powers back now, please? This poor girl. Steve, what are you doing? Somebody's gotta go down there and check this thing out. You were a swim co-captain? I thought you played basketball. Nancy, stop looking! Uh... Be careful. I'm gonna be extra not careful just because you said that. Just because you were a co-captain does not mean that you're all of a sudden a dive expert. You guys realize there's a gate down there? Technically a water gate? Cricket, cricket. Dustin, I liked it. Don't worry. You made it to the bottom of the lake? That is indeed a gate. Steve, please come back up. How are you not losing air? Just that good at holding your breath? Co-captain or not, that is impressive. Oh god, you dropped your flashlight, bro. <gasps> the tentacle leg, bro. Oh yeah, the fish, it just got... Oh bro, Steve, you're about to be dinner. Dude, he's gonna go under. He's gonna go under. It's more of a snack size gate than the mama gate, but still... It's pretty damn big. <laughs> Something touched my leg. Yo, the one time Steve actually goes and doesn't take care of the kids. Literally the one- Poor Steve, man. He really gets the thick of it. The brink of it. You're not going in there, are you? Just wait here. Nancy, you're no swim co-captain. The heck? That takes guts. No, 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 no. What are you doing? She said, wait, she's in charge. Are you kidding me? I made that shit up. Bro, everyone's going to the other side. Eddie, you cannot be here by yourself either. <laughs> they all went. They literally all went to the, through the gate. Is that what's happening right now? There's no way that this is how it's ending. That they're all going through the gate. We're gonna have four people in here on the other side. Chilling now. What the heck is that? And how do they even get out of this? Like, how do they even leave? Freaking screechy owl hawk bat things. Hawk, get it? Hawkins? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ew, literally, ew! What are you? You're no Demogorgon! <laughs> Hello? Are they eating him? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! You no, know, no, 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 you're not telling me that's where it's ending. <laughs> what did I just witness? Is Steve about to die? Is his insides about to be torn out? Or maybe he's gonna be strangled to death first. I mean, who? What? So that was episode six. The title is very creative because not only did Steve literally dive into the depths of the lake all the way so deep so that he came out of the other uh, side well actually he was dragged around to the other side but at least he saw the gate but also we got 11 literally diving deep into her mind trying to remember the past trauma that she experienced as a young 11. what the actual heck is happening i have no idea 11 found out she was a murderer, which explains her anger issues that's gotta be a close second. I think the last episode, or no, two episodes ago was my favorite with the one with Dear Billy. And this one's gotta be a close second. This one was so good too. God, what were your thoughts on, like, I wanna know what you guys were thinking when you were in my position right here. Like, what, what is going through your brain? Leave it down in the comments below. And I wanna know which character of yours that's new in this season is your favorite. I think mine is Eddie. Eddie has just been so comedic and also just all around great character. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to see the full-length commentary to this episode, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all. Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye!